Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a brand new video. Today we are going to be looking at a Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War class setup. Now before I get started, please be sure to go hit that subscribe button, go like the video, go comment, and please go join my Discord server. It is just now starting to get some members and it would be great to have some more. But anyway, let's get into the setup. So I'm going to start out the setup with the wild card, since it is required for the rest of the class setup. Um, it's just gunfighter, it just gives you an additional 3 slots on the primary, that, that's it. Now on to the XM4, we have the Millstop Reflex Optic, which you can really change out for whatever you want. Next we have the Infantry Compensator, which although it lacks in horizontal recoil control, it really helps to hone in the vertical recoil, which is useful for longer range kills across maps. Following that we have the 13.5 Reinforced Heavy Barrel, which doubles the damage range for long shot kills like I mentioned earlier, and it increases the bullet velocity which allows your shots to be more accurate over longer distances. Then we have the Steady Aim Laser, which is not really necessary, but it helps for lining up your hip fire shots so that you can be sure to be as accurate as possible. Next up we have the Bruiser Grip, which is a less focused underbarrel, but benefits overall mobility. Not only does it almost cancel out the loss of sprinting movement speed from the barrel, but it also brings back a little bit of the lost aim walking speed from it as well. Next up we have the combination of the 40 round speed mag with the speed tape. This mag lets you run more ammo with a shorter reload speed and when paired up with the speed tape allows for very minimal impact to the ADS speed of the gun. Finally we have the buffer tube stock which increases the sprint to fire time, which is useful in more confrontational, run and gun style gameplay. Next up is my Gallo class, which you can basically switch out for whatever, but this is what I prefer to use. Firstly, there's the duckbill choke, followed by the 22.7 inch extended barrel, the nine round tube magazine, speed tape, and tactical stock. Next up, we have the tactical, which can be switched out for a couple different things depending on your playstyle. For core game modes, I would suggest the stun, since you can get easier kills by immobilizing enemies. Unlike what is shown in the gameplay, I would actually suggest the stim shot for hardcore, since it allows you to heal in a mode that does not give you a lot of health. For my lethal, I prefer to use a Molotov, since it has a longer lasting effect, which can get multiple kills over a period of time. For my field upgrade, I like to use the proximity mine, just as a personal preference. You can switch it out for whatever. And finally, for perks, I like to use Flak Jacket, Scavenger, and Gung Ho. Since it allows me to absorb damage from commonly used explosives and molotovs, it allows me to replenish my ammo when I inevitably run out, and since it adds increased mobility, decreased fall damage, and accuracy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the class setup. Um, again, please be sure to go like, comment, subscribe, and go join the Discord server, and um, grab some popcorn and enjoy the gameplay. Well, anyway, see you guys. Dropped him. Eliminated two.
confirmed. Proximity man placed. Dropped him. Shotgun dead. Throwing stun. Sorry to disappoint you. Commence napalm strike. Enemies 
spy plane inbound. Spy plane standing by. Back for requesting spy plane tasking. Spy plane commencing surveillance operation. 